guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make a basic blueberry muffin. So I'm going to be using this basic cupcake mold. You don't have to use a mold though, you can always do it by hand. So you're going to need a ball of clay. I'm using this Fleshlight color by Fimo. It would probably be more helpful if you have tan clay, but if you don't that's fine because we will be using chalk pastels to color the clay. So first you're going to get your clay and you're just going to push it in the mold. So once you've pressed it in your mold, you're just going to get another ball of the same colored clay and you're just going to put it on top and flatten it down on top. So I've just flattened it out, so now you're just going to pop it out of the mold. And you should have something that looks like this. So I've just put my muffin to the side, and I got some blue clay and just rolled it out in a long line so it looks like this. So now you're going to get your blade, and you're just going to cut this into little bits. So just like this. <laughs> This might take a while, but that's okay. So there are all of my little blueberries. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my finger and I'm just going to get one and just give it a little roll. Just like this so it's circular. And you're just going to do that to all of your little blueberries. So once it's done, they should look like this. So before I stick them on, I'm just going to add some chalk pastels to make it look like the muffin's been baked. So I'm just going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to go for some light colors. And now you're just going to brush that around. Okay, so I've added the chalk pastels, and this is what it looks like. It's given it a really nice baked effect. So now I'm just going to take a toothbrush and dab it around the muffin for some texture. If you want, you can use a ball of tin foil if you don't want to use a toothbrush. So now I'm done texturing it, and this is what it looks like. So now it's time to add the blueberries. So now it's time to add the blueberries. So you're just going to get your finger, and you can just put it on. If you want, you can always use the blade, though. So you're just going to add it on like that. And you're just going to go around the muffin, adding all the little blueberries that you want. So you can add as much as you want. As you can see, my blueberries don't look very realistic, but I'm just going to make them look quite plain and not very realistic. But if you want, you can just add some texture onto them. So now I've put them all on. Um, they're popping out a bit, so I'm just going to press them in a bit more. If that's the case with you, then you might just want to fix up your blueberries and just push them in a bit more. So as I said before, if you want the blueberries to look more realistic, you can just get your blade and just put little crosses in the blueberries, just like that. So if you want to, you can just go ahead and do that to your berries. Once you've added the texture to your berries, you're ready to put an eye pin in. So what I like to do is get some translucent liquid Sculpey and just put a little dot in the middle. And then I put my eye pin straight through it so it'll be secure. Just like that. So here's what your muffin should look like. So now you're just going to bake it. Um, I would recommend baking it according to what type of polymer clay you're using and what the instructions say.
Okay, so I've baked my Palmer Clay Blueberry Muffin, and now it's time to glaze it. So I'm just using some Fimo Glaze. So now I'm just going to get my brush and dip it in the glaze, and just spread it around. A really good idea is just to only glaze the blueberries and leave the rest of the thing unglazed because that makes it look more realistic. But if you don't want a realistic blueberry muffin, then you can just glaze the whole thing like I am. So now I've glazed the muffin, I'm just going to leave it to dry for 20 minutes. So my blueberry muffin has finished drying and this is what it looks like. I'm really happy with the results and I like how the glaze is really shiny. So I hope you guys had as much fun making this as I had filming this. So please rate, comment, subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!